Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today we are still exploring the joys of the chain pool. And uh, I'm... I was just looking at the... the plug and so many of you have seen that done all over the place it's gone viral around the world um, and it's not what we're doing today so I'm going to do a very thin coat of my house paint uh, on this 8x10 canvas and then I'm gonna do something else <laughs> this is a play time guys if I get something that's awesome I'm gonna be excited and if I get something that I go ugh then I probably won't be surprised uh, but this is experimenting my target with my channel is to share with you my love of playing with paint and the fun that I have with paint. So this is me exploring. Um, this is not me teaching you how to do something I've already perfected. Please don't expect me to ever do that because that's boring. Um, there are people out there that only ever do perfect pores I never show you the ones that work and that's not fun for me I include you in all of it <laughs> so let's just shake it about a bit and get rid of some of these big lumpy bits that'll do as I said this is this is blade time Play. Now, let's see what I can create here. I am not centered, which is a pain. Let's move it a little bit, see if we can get it a little bit more centered. This is quite a chunky chain. And that's as far as I'm going to go. Right, so as you saw, I've made a spiral of chain. Now, uh, I'm going to choose some paint colours. What colours shall we do, guys? Um, I'm getting, we're going to use turquoise. So this is deep turquoise uh, mixed with flow troll and water. Not used for a while, so it's thickened up a bit. Add a bit more water. I'm going to use... I think I've got copper left in here that's got silicon in it. So we're going to use some of that. I'm going to use some crimson but I want silicon in that so we need to find a pot to put it in I pre-mix all my paints I mix a whole tube at a time it's super quick super easy and it takes about the same amount of time to mix a whole tin as it does to mix enough for one painting so why would you bother wasting time mixing 15 times the silicon I use is actually dimethicone this is found in the condom aisle 
and it is 100% dimethicone. Don't use the green bottle because that's not 100% dimethicone. Okay. Uh, so I've put three drips of that in. It is a liquidy oil, guys, so just be very gentle when you tip it. <laughs> uh, so we've got turquoise, red, copper, and I'm going to have some yellow ochre. So that's thick too, so let's add some more water in there. There's a lot of paint in this. I've only just recently mixed this one up. It's a whole tube. That's better. I'm not going to put silicon in that one. Oh, can you see these dots? That's from where I closed the lid of my Durex play. And it's flicked silicon. That's okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, so, when tossing up whether to make a, a pot, like you would for a spiral pour, or whether just to pour a ring. Okay, just going to let that sort of sink and seep a little bit and see. If it will. <laughs> it is starting to grow around the edges, as you can see. I need to make some room for what I'm planning here. So, while that's seeping, I'm going to... I'd really, my target is to get this paint to just to push its way out so that we've got at least down as flat as the chain all the way through. So that's my target. Here. Hopefully it's listening. So I've only got silicon in the copper and the red. So we'll see how this goes. May or may not work. <laughs> and you're all sitting there going, what is the definition of work for this painting, Michelle? <laughs> Look like something I like. <laughs> What if there was no such thing as right or wrong? What if there was no such thing as um, getting it right or getting it wrong? Okay. So now I'm going to let you in on the t on the plan. What I'm going to do is pull the chain away, keeping it down on the ground as I pull. And as it pulls away, 
it brings all those colours out. And this is the bit that becomes the challenge is keeping it on the ground. I've lost most of my red, haven't I? Well, it's different. Definitely different. Yes. Okay. So this part here needs a little bit more colour. And then we need to see what happened to all that silicon. There's some of it's come up. But let's give it some torching and see what else happens. Because there's bound to have been some air bubbles created in there as well. Look at cells. Now the, the butane torch pops the air bubbles but also warms the paint allowing the silicon to rise. But you'll see I don't keep the torch in any one place for very long just warming it definitely not cooking it and definitely not burning it wow that is cool I like it Yes, I like it. Let me get that down and show you <laughs> from a different perspective. All right. So the red became pink. <laughs> but look at some of these cells. They're delicious. The other thing about the red is as it um, as it went, it led, left silicon behind. And you'll probably find a lot of these cells were made by that red. I like that. As much as it's pinkish, it's sort of an orangey pinkish, which is totally fine by me. It's so pretty. This is just lovely, lovely jubbly. I think if I did it again, I might use gold instead of the yellow okra. I'm not a huge fan of yellow okra, but we'll see what it's like when it's dry. I might be really wrong. Because I asked the paint which colours wanted to come and play on this painting and it was the one that jumped out at me. Look at these cells. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's so cool. All the multi-colours. The multi-layered cells that got created with this is just cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yum, yum, yum. I really like this one. Look at that. Maybe because it's blue. You know me. Alright, I'm going to go and let this sit and dry. And I will be back in your time in three, two, one. Ta da! Check it out. Oh my goodness. I just think this is adorable. I think I'm going to have a go at doing this 
on a larger scale what magic can show up i'm excited i do like this i do like it a lot um it has dried pretty much as we left it you know that whole cool thing but we do have um some dents where there was large quantities and they're still you know it dries and it flattens but you know when <laughs> When you got piles of stuff, it doesn't quite flatten smooth. But look at the copper in there doing its little funky thing. Freaky funky. Hmm. Maybe this is a new way to do a wave pour. Let's see what magic gets created. I like it. Look at it. It's so pretty. Happy me. Happy, happy, happy me. Alright. So. There were no cabochons to go with this one. So I can't show you that. There was no runoff card. So I can't show you that. So that's it, guys. That's the end of the video, really. Um... <clears throat> If you missed the live yesterday, day before, somewhere around there, um, then make sure you sign up on my newsletter sign up and then you will get 24 hours notice of when I'm going live next. It's super easy. You just go to that URL, mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up, put in your name and email address and I'll next time I'm going live I'll send you an email how cool is that all right guys I had fun with this what else can I create hmm um, um, um. let's look forward to discovering that I adore you have fun and I will see you super 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 soon bye bye